after you model everything and you have it skinned together, you can tell the bone specifically how to influence the mesh around it by going to weight painting. A lot of students click the bones and then wonder why the weight painting isn't working correctly. They'll click a joint and say, eh, it's, it's not letting me adjust it. It's because you actually need to be clicked on the mesh. So you wanna be clicked on the mesh for the rabbit. And then we go to skin, paint skin weights. You do not need to click the box. When you select it, the tool will appear right here. And when you double click that, you get this menu. When I click on an object, if I go ahead and I make sure that it is weighted, I can see what the area of influence is for that object. So if I click on my knee again, let's go ahead and hit six. You'll see it's saying, okay, that knee is influencing all of this. And it's influencing all of this. And if it's not letting you get certain parts, sometimes not using the color ramp will show a little better view of the most direct influences. On the other hand, if you're moving something and you're seeing that there's movement you're not seeing in this kind of white highlighted section, the color ramp sometimes shows you those lesser areas. And to hit the area, you actually have to select the vertice. And we have a little bit of a problem because it's affecting this ankle here. And we don't want the knee deforming to really affect the entire ankle. So what we can do is we can actually paint the weight and tell it to be more or less. We do that by decreasing the average value. If I said, I actually want it to have zero effect on here. That brush is too big, but I can click and bring that down. Remember, I can hold B on my keyboard, and if I drag up or down, I can change my brush size. There we go. So I can tell it to have a zero. I can physically paint, but I don't want the knee to influence that area. And if I accidentally do hit an area, I want it to have I said, oh, look, I actually did want it to affect right here. I can increase that number. And this is the percent of influence. So if I say, well, you know, the knee moving should deform the ankle, maybe like 60, 70%. I can click that and color over here. And now the knee will have more of an area of influence on this object. So how do you know how much something should move? Honestly, a lot of times we use ourselves as a reference. It might be move your hip and then see how that hip is moving or is affecting the movement of the rest of your skin. Like if I move my hip, do I see a lot of movement at the waist? Uh, for me, very little. So I would probably well, decrease that. And so you literally go over every bone. You say, okay, what's my area of influence? really don't need it to be affecting all the way up here. Maybe I'll go ahead and paint this. And to hit the area, you actually have to select the vertice. Now that said, maybe if I went to this other one, if mm. I went to like my right knee, I said, oh my gosh, that's a huge area of influence for the right knee. I just want this whole area right here not to be affected. I could right click, go to vertices, Let's close this for a second. I can select these vertices. I can say, okay, I don't want it to affect these. And then when I go to my paint weight with those vertices selected, if I double click and get this menu, there's this object that says flood. If I turn both of these to zero. I say, hey, flood all of these vertices with zero influence, and then it will go away. And so that's how you do weight painting. A lot of it is just patience and taking a while to influence all of these objects. It's really literally clicking through here. Also, if you do select vertices and you're done with them, always make sure to do a deselect just so that nothing kind of odd comes up. And good luck. And of course, your teachers are here if you have any questions. A lot of times we have very specific instances, so you'll probably want to work one-on-one -on -one with your peers and with your teachers.